So what I could never really explain to the Yorktown police why this was so devastating was because of this police report, the stupid police report where, you know, nothing ever came of it, but the, just the fact that a police report exists and she's calling other studios and talking to headquarters in Los Angeles saying things like, um, hi again, this is from someone who's, uh, has to do with franchise services at Beacom Yoga in Los Angeles. Hi again, I really hate dealing with this. Just wanted to inform you that I have been back to the Yorktown police this morning. She may have tampered with the police report. So on top of it being a bogus police report, uh, this is at callthepolice.com. Uh, call um, but just to, to continue on with that sort of thing, I found, I mean, I'll pull it like this and someone can pause the whatchamacallit, to read it. These were forwarded to me from Los Angeles, so, um, where is it? And here's a picture of Jane as a, I think she was at camp here. I saw this online. And, I mean, that kind of says, I think she's still in this mentality where she was, you know, felt left out, and so she came after me. And I really didn't do anything to her. And this is why I can do this, and she can't have a lawyer call me, because lawyers have been involved and she's never explained how this started as far as I've gone with it now it's just because at the age of 46 this was everything to me and so now I'm like 52 and I'm so fucked and sick and you know a lot of stuff happens when the situation is this you know the stress of having borrowed money from families and I even got a scholarship from Beacom I was never able to pay back and um sixteen dollars in the bank account and then you know you're you go through two and a half months of training you work really hard have a pretty good time you know things go on but it was fine and then my first boss that this is uh in Norwalk says you know congratulations on coming through the entire training if you want you can start working uh Friday the 24th however I do have to know why Jane in Yorktown had a restraining order instated uh, um, for you. My partner and I have to be satisfied that we're, uh, you know, again, I'll hold it like this. You can pause it and read it if you want further. It's just, this is the kind of gossip that took off. Because, this isn't a, a restraining order. It's a bogus police report, but that's, that's, it's called the game of telephone, right? Here's Joy in Danbury, Connecticut. Um, again, pause this and read this. Oh, I don't want to put my old email address up there, but um, I have heard from many people in the Bikram community and um, have expressed some kind of exasperation over your behavior. No, there's never anything specific uh, during the past few months. She's a, a friend of Jane's, so you know that's what that is. That's Joy uh, Wiener. Joy Wiener, who who was thrown out of training herself, they told me at uh, Bikram Norwalk. I think she was one of the original people at Bikram Norwalk, and then she was thrown out of training, got put through hell, and I think she thinks doing that to other people, it's a, it's like a sick, um, I don't know what to call it, but then this was just the last one, where here I am still 2009, trying to, uh, uh, hello, oh, well, it started with, me writing to St. Augustine because I saw they were looking for people. I couldn't get a thousand miles away. This is before I got the Titusville studio. But I wrote, Hi, Kate. I'll hold it still so people can pause it because this isn't going to go for long. I heard about what a great teacher you are. I was browsing through headquarters website looking for teachers wanted. You're still looking. I would like to re relocate to Florida and teach full time. And then I name a couple other idiots who were also slowly giving me a hard time because it just turns into more. And she writes, Hello, Raina, I'm sorry, but I have knowledge that you are not a certified teacher and that you have caused a lot of headaches and heartaches, which I thought was an interesting word, at others' schools. Thanks for your request, but I only allow certified teachers in good standing with Bikram into my school, Kate V. Toy. So what exactly did I do? No one has ever really said.
doing all the stuff I do now is just really still trying to get that answer, and I never will. And um, and it's a shame because I think the way I was treated represents everything that's wrong with our system, both healthcare, our economy, because there's there's a degree of of a of bullying, of, that's my word, that registered bullyofthemonth.org, bullyoftheyear.com, read about it. Um, it's, it's not the bully going after someone's lunch money. It's someone like Jane, 